Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Monday following Richmond, where we scored um, a ninth place finish, back-to-back -back top tens for our truck team. Very exciting. And I just wanted to give everybody kind of a behind the scenes, what we go through on, on a weekly basis. This week we had Bristol coming up. Uh, so we are going to take the same truck that we ran at Richmond and turn it around, bring it to Bristol, which is not all that different from what we normally do. Uh, we have four trucks in our inventory. And uh, for the most part, we run the same trucks over and over again. So uh, this morning we unloaded it from the, uh, obviously from the race hauler there. Um, we are pressure washing. And like I said, um, my shop consists of two people, myself and my crew chief, Greg Ely. So uh, a lot of this falls on myself. So this morning, this is my job. And what I'll do is throughout the week and throughout the day, I'll show you kind of what we do on a normal basis. So stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy this. So that truck's gonna sit out there and finish up drying. It got pressure washed and I'll kind of take you into the race shop. Uh, here's the other three trucks that we have sitting. Um, Greg's over here working on the truck that we ran Darlington with. This is the other truck that we finished uh, ninth place with there. Uh, this motor he's pulling out is um, time for a rebuild. It's, it's hit uh, past that 1500 mile mark. And at that point we take it back down to Elmore and they send it out for a fresh rebuild. So I'll probably end up taking that down to Morrisville tomorrow. All right, so it's lunchtime Monday. I ran home. Levi, he, um, uh, he's my lunch companion. So I run home, grab him some lunch. Uh, I eat a little lunch myself. And when I finish up Monday, I typically, <laughs> Levi's here. Typically on Mondays, I submit my rosters for the upcoming race. I submit my paint scheme for the upcoming race, uh, depending on what race is coming up next, uh, which would be Vegas. I'll have to submit the entry blanks for Vegas and uh, just a bunch of paperwork, um, submit my receipts from the previous weekend. And I try to knock that out during lunch. And after that, I head on back to the shop and we'll keep on digging. Back at the shop, kind of winding down our Monday. Uh, Greg has repacked front and rear hubs. Um, just getting our race cans kind of emptied out. Uh, just on the, got the pump on it now, pumping into our drum. Still sell filled up so the weight could be correct and we'd be filled up going to the racetrack. Um, things come along pretty good. Uh, underneath is cleaned up, outside is cleaned up. And uh, all right, been. guys, that was a successful Monday for us. Truck is all cleaned up, underneath's done, sides are done. Greg went through, repacked all the hubs. Uh, truck's in really good condition. Uh, same motor's gonna stay in it. Transmission's gonna stay in it. We swapped the gear over. Um, trucks get very close to getting back down on the ground. And at that point, we start setting it up again. This is a short week for us. Uh, race is on Thursday, so we need to be loaded up Wednesday night. Today's obviously Monday, so we got all day tomorrow, and then most of Wednesday to finish up. So very short week. Uh, so thankful that we didn't tear or even bang our truck up this weekend so we can just turn that thing around and make it an easy week. The following weekend could be any easier. Um, Las Vegas is across the country, obviously, so uh, short turnaround. We're gonna have to swap motors because one of our motors is out. We only have two total. Uh, tomorrow, I will head down to Mooresville to uh, drop our second motor off for a rebuild. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday now, and uh, we're gonna do some running around today uh, our shop's in Thomasville, so typically everything that we do is about an hour drive. Uh, our first stop is going to be NASCAR and Concord, uh, where we have to pick up our credential passes for this weekend. After that, I'll head over to Ilmore, um, where I will drop off this engine right here. We've got it packaged up uh, because these things actually get shipped off to Michigan, where they do the rebuilding process. And then I'm hooked up to our, our small trailer, 24-foot trailer. Um, I've been using MBM's pit road box. They've been kind enough, Carl Long and that whole group's been kind enough to let me use their pit road box. Uh, just because I don't have that piece of the puzzle yet. And just the way the scheduling works at Bristol is we go into the track first. So uh, I'll go pick it up, we'll haul it to the track and then we'll leave it there and we'll use it for the, for the Xfinity race as well. 
Um, so Levi is going to be riding along with me today. You ready, buddy? All right, let's roll. Our first stop in NASCAR. Um, got our passes right here. Levi's going to go back up into the uh, to the car. Such a good boy. So, uh, got our credentials. Going to head off to Morrisville now, uh, where we're going to drop his engine off at. And uh, we'll All go right, from there. Just got here to Elmore. Levi helped me uh, unload the uh, engine, so now that's uh, straight away there. It'll get taken out to Michigan. I was going to hook the trailer back up. They had to put a forklift on it. It's over there. So we can hook back up. We're heading off to MBM for the pit box. Okay. We made it to Carl's shop. There's a pit box we're going to use this weekend. Levi wants to help. Get this thing loaded up here. Here's a look at the MBM shop. Kind of a small shop. You wouldn't think a cup team would be run out of here, but uh, these guys make it work. All right, guys, good morning. It's Wednesday, which means it's load day. Um, so we'll finish up everything on the truck today. We'll finish tread width, we'll finish uh, wheelbase, scaling, and then we'll push it to the pull down and we'll get this thing loaded up. Uh, a lot of equipment for two guys, but that's what gets these muscles going. We kind of take in the shop here and show where we're at. Great kind of truck right there. Finishing up on the surface plate before we will push it over to the pull down for finals. Okay, so we have her up on the pull down now. Basically what we're checking here is max load and these are low air pressure so the tire pressure will build. And we're just trying to make sure we have some clearance on the splitter. I think right there uh, we're, we're good, but we're gonna probably go up another 16th on the right front just to make sure that we don't drag with no practice we just can't afford to drag right now so but basically the the reason why we do this is almost like insurance we do this so that um uh we show up that uh we do max loads and make sure that nothing drags nothing's going to rub we look everything over as well as we can and basically it's simulating when we hit the racetrack okay just got back from the store i'll we'll get this hauler packed up uh, I've got a little bit of work getting done on the hauler right now, getting some uh, fresh brakes put on it, and uh, we're getting away here. All right, we're getting ready to put the truck away in the box and ship her off to Bristol. Uh, what we always do before we load it up is we, we crank it up, make sure everything's running, make sure nothing's leaking, and, uh, and then we uh, shut her back down and we ship her off. Uh, everything was good. No leaks, everything was uh, running like it should, and we'll put her off in the, uh, the trailer for Bristol. All right, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed uh, what we do uh, throughout the week. That was kind of a short week for us. Really, it was only three days, so it was um, probably not as much, um, not as exciting as it could have been, but uh, all is right in the world. We got the uh, truck put in the box ready for bristol hopefully we can do another top 10 this weekend so uh stay tuned cheers on this weekend and appreciate everybody for the support see you guys next time